Hello, today we're in a very damp Worcester in the studio of Paul Joyner, uh, who's just extended the room with this voiceover booth. And as you can probably hear, it's a little bit boomy and echoey at the moment. Uh, we're going to try and sort it out with a combination of foam in our usual way and some homemade acoustic treatments. Right, this room you built, Paul, it's a plasterboard box, effectively. It's a decent size, but there's no acoustic treatment in there at the moment. No, not, not at the moment, no. And as you're probably aware, if we just stick foam in there, we're going to lose a lot of the top end, but leave the bottom end rattling around. Could end up with a really boxy sound. So I think what the plan is, is to build a fairly deep trap on the back wall, try and trap it down to a fairly low frequency, at least the bottom of the vocal range, mm. and then we'll put some foam on the side walls, which you can help with, I'm sure. Yeah, okay, okay. that sounds so good to me. Let's give it a shot and see what happens. Great. Okay, so the trap we're going to build is going to comprise fiberglass panel or rock wool panel. It's uh, academic which one you choose as a back layer. And then in front of that, we're going to have some barrier matting, which is a very heavy mineral loaded vinyl. And this one's fabric backed, isn't it? It's fabric backed to stop it stretching and it's heavy. It's five kilograms per square yeah, meter. I can tell. And you can buy it up to 10 kilograms a square meter. That's really heavy. Mm. And then we're going to sandwich that between two curtains of carpet underlay. This underlay, yeah. Which is the felty, smelly stuff, which smells like recycled Labrador. Mm. We're going to hang that from the top and the whole thing will be about six inches deep. And the whole panel size? I think the whole panel is going to be about six feet by four feet. OK, so good, to, good surface area. It's going to cover most of that back wall. Yeah, yeah. fine. Okay. We need some wood then to hang it all up on. Yeah, let's go and uh, cut some wood. Okay, so I've put some glue on the back of these supporting battens. Now I'm just going to pin them onto this frame using a nail gun. Should you nail it to the floor? <laughs> no, it's not nailed to the floor. <laughs> right, another one of those that, then. That'll do for that piece. Now we'll do a long piece. So what I'm going to do here is tack these down again, and there's a little cross piece, which you'll see later on, is going to support the rails that hold the different hanging parts of the trap. Right. So let's just make sure none of these guys are going anywhere. Got those lined up. Flush it that in. Right, that'll hold that. That gun. Okay. Okay. I am um, just taking the end out, so it's it should be. Oh, I, <laughs> I like the good. name. They call it forget nail. Forget nail. <laughs> sure. Which is own. I still think the screw fix one's the best. The I can't believe it's not nails. I think it's a fantastic name. Right. Okay, and let's okay, let's get get the metal plate on the corner before we go any further because yeah. otherwise these corners can be quite precarious. This end piece. Uh, is that the right way around? Yes. Yep. That's um, right way around. Yes, it is. Yeah. Have you got that hue? I'll just yes. grab some yep. screw support. Yes. Trust me, I'm not a doctor. <laughs> I'm going to do turn it upside down and put the base on. I'll turn it sideways. You can turn it sideways. Sideways is good. So I've got this. Okay. Alright. Yep. Okay? Yeah, fine. Okay. Okay. Brackets. Brackets, Brackets and screws. Okay. I've got some tissue paper just to wipe off the excess uh, okay. glue that's seeping out. Use your finger. Tissue paper. <laughs> 
Yeah. 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 That's why I said your finger. These metal brackets really do make a difference to rigidity. Yeah. Especially when you're screwing into the end grain of wood, it just doesn't mm. hold otherwise. Mm. Okay. Um, which way do you want Flip to it over again. Yep. Hmm. This will be interesting. Yes, it will be. Right, so no. side plate again. Yeah, <coughs> so it's slow, isn't it? Okay, now, because all the stuff that's going in here is quite heavy, I think we ought to get this on the wall first. Okay. So if you can find your electric drill, we'll drill some holes in this baton at the back. No then we can hold it up against the wall, mark out the, the points on the wall where we need fixings, get some cavity wall fixings in there, screw the thing up, <laughs> and then we can hang all the inside and see if it works. At the moment, it's a very lively sounding boxy little room, which is exactly what you'd expect. Nothing's been done to it apart from a skirting board, carpet, and a rather nice double glazed door, which acts as a reasonably soundproof enclosure. Now let's see what we can do with our fitments. Okay, mind the top of the door. Yep. Now if we can measure it up correctly, this should just fit. Yeah. Should just clear the door handle. That's it. Okay. That's going to be level with the top of the skirting board. And clear this side. Okay. That's it just on top, is it? Spirit level. Thanks. Also, can you tell me whether it's Sufficiently central to keep you happy, aesthetically speaking. Um, it's closer to this wall than that one at the way. Okay. So it needs to go left slightly. Yep. How's that looking for? I've got five inches on that side. I've got seven on this. Okay, I'll move that it way across a bit. Okay, that's it. Cool. Okay. That's good. That's solid. It's not going anywhere. Okay. Yeah. Seems pretty solid. Yeah. Good. Definitely solid. Okay, so what we're going to do now is fit these rock wall panels into the back, which have got to be pushed into place. It's um, probably a good idea to wear gloves if you've got fragile fingers. And we've just cut the frame so that these panels will wedge into place. Hopefully we won't need to glue them. This is a lot better than the loose rock wall because you don't get a room full of horrible fibres. So can you put it in this oh, end in first the and then you can, yeah, that's, that's it. it, and then hit it. Oh. In, yep. Oh. What I did is I actually cut the top panel with a bandsaw to exactly the right thickness. I mean, you can cut this thing with a bread knife or something. A bandsaw leaves a really good finish if you have one. Is it any tapping on your side or is it in? I just like hitting things. So. Very good. It's taken a lot of ring out of the room already, just that. Yeah, even that's sounding a bit one, two, great. <laughs> yeah.